I'll let the reviewing begin. Let this week get off to a strong start with five solid local chocolate milks today and a bunch more tomorrow and the rest of the week. Thing of beauty, isn't it? First stop uh, on this trip, just landed in Philadelphia a couple hours ago, is made a beeline out here for Westchester to Bailey's Dairy on a personal recommendation of somebody online, I forgot her name. People here are super nice, fourth generation dairy farm. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful out here. It reminded me of England, the narrow roads and the uh, nice foliage and stuff getting out here is really gorgeous. Okay, shook it up. Wow, is this good. It's smooth and it disperses absolutely beautifully. It's got a nice creamy malty taste to it. That's the best chocolate milk I've had in a while. And uh, I will be spreading the word about Bailey's Dairy here in Westchester. You owe it to yourself to pick some of this stuff up. Okay, next stop is Tanner Brothers Dairy Farm. Got a big farm store. It's in Ivyland, PA, kind of near Hatboro, or Horsham, Doylestown, that area. Word has it they got chocolate milk, so let's go in and get some. And it's hopping in there. It's like a legit grocery store. Cute little jug of milk here, buck 39. It's a pretty damn good deal. There's a lot of other people buying this, so maybe the locals know. You know, you try to pick what you think would be a quiet spot and then the construction equipment starts picking up and they start mowing the lawn and stuff. What can you do? Just trying to enjoy my Tanner Brothers chocolate milk. Which is not hard to do. This stuff is super chocolatey. It's delicious. It's got plenty of cream to back it up. Uh, it just has a really, that true cocoa flavor that you get. You try it and you know it's, it's chocolate immediately. It's, it's down the middle, but perfectly aligned with what you expect, which in a good way. Oh yeah, I mean, no frills packaging, which maybe even, maybe even makes it more attractive, right? Makes it seem more legit, I guess. All kinds of fun stuff over here at Mary Mead Farm in Lansdale, PA. Did snap up some of the chocolate milk, so really looking forward to that. Uh, they got a whole kind of a petting zoo type of a thing. A lot of fun things for kids to do around here. They even got a big cornfield maze. So how can you hate that? Unfortunately, I got to press on. Um, got a few more to hit up yet today and time to head north, finally get out of the Philadelphia metro area. Is that what I think it is? I just got to Crystal Spring Farm in Schnecksville. And I already love it because there's a cat here. And he's kind of following me around now. Uh, a little dusty. Love to get him some, uh, some cream or something if I could. I don't know if that's kosher. Not literally. So it looks like a really nice place. We're gonna hit it up. Let's see what they got. Crystal Spring Farm is a gorgeous spot. We got gazebos, they got a nice porch up there. There's a cat, I think his name is RJ. And uh, that's just, it's fantastic. It's a cool fall day. It's maybe 58 degrees, light breeze, and the chocolate milk is free flowing. The best thing about today so far 
is I, there's not been uh, a low fat or a non fat chocolate milk in sight. All this stuff has been whole chocolate milk the way it should be. Wow, that's actually really quite chocolatey. It's not super thick, uh, but it's still creamy and very chocolatey. It's delicious. Crystal Spring Farm, done well. What a great place. They got a really nice thing going here and the fall colors are, are, are outstanding. I wish I could take more video uh, of the surrounding area in the car, but kind of need it for navigation and uh, the camera crew isn't with me. Got one more I'd like to get to outside of Wilkes-Barre. Hopefully we can do it while, the, while it's still light out. It's been a good day so far. It'd be great to wrap it up with one more uh, cream revisit and chocolate milk splurge. Arrived at the Hillside Dairy Store in Shavertown, Pennsylvania, which I think is still in the Wyoming Valley. It's a gorgeous night. It's Halloween. I failed to mention that it's Halloween tonight. And I know last Halloween I was in South Wales uh, on a bathroom floor drinking chocolate milk. So, yeah, approaching quarter to 10 at night. It's been a long day. Uh, it's not my preferred move to do that, uh, do this late at night, have eight different chocolate milks. Let's go see what they got for chocolate milk. There's no shortage of it, I'll tell you that. Wow, it's quite a complex they get out here in Shavertown. Tons of chocolate milk. Again, it didn't break the whole chocolate milk only theme that we got going today. So, makes me happy. Got a lot to drink in the morning. It's been on ice, the stuff we got in the car, two cooler bags, and uh, pop it in the fridge tonight, drink it in the morning, and you know, let the reviewing begin. Here's what I'm having. Oh, not necessarily in this order. Couple of bees around. <laughs> anyway, that pig, that's kind of how I'm gonna feel at the end of the week. Mercy. I like that it's anatomically correct with the four nipples on the udder. I can say that, right? Solid first day of chocolate milk hunting. And uh, you know, how about the, the full size fridge from uh, Motel 6 really doing me a solid here? Wilkesbury, and uh, and there's a Bob Evans across the street, so things are looking pretty good.